Hi everyone, uh, so I just wanted to talk real quickly about indentation guidelines in Sublime Text in a setting that not a, a lot of people know about. Um, so when when you're working with some code that is based on indentation, which is what I'm working with right here is just some Jade uh, templating language, but this could be any programming language. It could be CoffeeScript, it could be Python, uh, or even some languages like JavaScript or um, XML or anything that's not even based on indentation, you just want to maintain good indentation yourself. Um, so when you're working with languages like this, it's really important to understand uh, what level that you're indented in. So here I have some Jade, uh, I have dot .row, and then inside of that dot .item, and then I scroll down here and I have this dot .getting. And uh, usually what happens to me is I look at this whole page and I go, okay, is dot .getting inside of dot row or is it a sibling to dot row especially if this page was three or four times the length it is right now so usually what I do is I put my, my cursor there and kinda just follow it up and then I realize that okay it's the same level of item uh, so that's that's kind of a pain in the butt um, so there's something that you can do with Sublime Text that will help you out um, quite a bit with this so I'm gonna head over to my preferences file um, and we see here we have indent guide options and right now I just have draw normal which is actually the default uh, so if you don't see this at all that's because the default of sublime is draw normal and what that means is it it gives us these indentation guidelines uh, all throughout uh, every indentation uh, however uh, there's a second option that we can add to this array here and it is called draw active so if I do comma draw underscore active and give it a save um, and head back to this file you'll see that now we have three different kinds of colors showing up first we have this yellow one which is showing the active uh, indentation level um, and then if you take a qu quick look here you can see that this parent one, which is uh, kind of the stacked version, um, is a, a lighter blue. And then the, the children ones that aren't currently active um, are in a darker blue. Uh, so this is really helpful. So if I could go back to my example of getting and just click this, I can see right away when I click on getting, row is the parent, item would be a sibling of it, right? Um, and I can also see from a glance, if I were to click on this, that it's inside of row and it's inside of dot what. Um, so by default Sublime Text is going to give you some colors uh, for this and the colors of these completely depend on your theme. Uh, so I'm using the Cobalt 2 theme which I've created here and you can install it uh, on package control or from GitHub. Um, and I went ahead and styled them myself uh, so that I'm getting this lighter blue here, this darker blue here, and then this prominent yellow one uh, for the active one. Um, if you want to add it to your own theme that you're working on, uh, you simply just go over to your theme file and you add guide, active guide, and stack guide. And these are the three colors that we are seeing here. Um, otherwise, just go ahead and install the Cobalt 2 theme or any other reputable theme that will probably support it. Alright, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.